Welcome to Sam's Russian Adventures. My name is Sam, an English guy living in provincial Russia. Now we're continuing the theme about Russian foods and I'm going to be going around asking Russians what they eat for lunch. When it comes to lunch in cafes here, what we have is we have something called business lunch. Now I don't know if you have that where you are in the world. Business lunch is like a set menu. You have like a choice of maybe three starters, three main courses and maybe three desserts. And this is like a cheaper version because all the food is already prepared in advance. And this is what the majority of Russians eat at lunchtime simply because it's just cheaper but it's still good. Then of course we have the traditional stolove which is basically like a canteen but it reminds me of school dinners. I don't really like school dinners and I don't really like the canteen foods. I'd rather pay a little bit more and at least go to a restaurant. So here we've got the typical canteen or stolove as they are in Russia, different cakes, different juices. Lots of different juices. And these look at the main courses. All the different main courses. And I guess these are the different soups. Look, bouillon, it's like a chicken soup. Uh, Salanki, it's like a uh, soup with, uh, what's the word, pork. And what the different uh, salads and fruits look. Bits of cold meat and different salads. So because there's a huge office complex next to this building, right, the employees will come here and they'll use the canteen like on a daily basis. They won't want to use all the different restaurants in here because that's going to get really expensive. So the canteen, the Stolovia, is really a way to eat out without being expensive. Я <laughs> 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 Там побольше кушать на обед или на ужин или как? Ну, или как по настроению? Поменьше да? надо на ужин кушать. На ужин, да? Ну не всегда получается. Ага. По настроению. Интересно. С винишком бывает побольше ага. съешь, а Интересно. без вина поменьше. Ладно, хорошо. Значит, вопрос время, хорошо? Извините, пожалуйста, можешь вопрос? Не знаю, Ну ладно, хорошо, спасибо. Извините, пожалуйста, можешь вопрос? Uh, что вы кушали сегодня на обед? Каша. Каша, да? О, на обед даже, да? да. Uh, ладно, спасибо. Look at this. Moss Tobac, like Moscow Tobacco. Very popular in Russia, all of these Kalyans. I don't know what they're called in your part of the world, let me know. I've seen that these have become like a thing now in our town. These punching things. I'll tell you about this now. I was always really weak, I couldn't punch anything. I hated when we saw these because all the guys were like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. And I was so weak, I could never punch it. I was just awful. In Vladimir, we have this type of town where loads of shops are kind of like independent and they're just hidden in strange places. Like here it says, coffee shop, chemist and gold. So jewelers, basically. Look at this little Georgian dude here. Anyone know the name of this that he's holding? Let me know in the comments. Look at the amount of businesses just through here. We've got a music shop, a hotel. We've got a remont telephone, of this uh, repair of tele telephones. What else have we got? Znak, I don't know what that is. Ultra is the same one here. And this is like a wedding shop look. We've got a shop that's doing uh, photos for your documents and photocopies. And then we've got a museum of Russian clothes. This here, it must be a flower shop. Let's have a look around the other side. It's got to be a flower shop, I'm sure. Please, we need to go to the most of us. Yes. What do you want to eat today? I don't eat today. Okay, no Look through this door here, repair of watches. Please, we need to go to the most of us. Что вы кушали сегодня на обед? На обед что вы кушали сегодня? На 
обед. Мы кушали курицу с макаронами. А, да? да? Хорошо. Ладно, спасибо. Today I experienced the first person who had no idea what I was saying. Literally, I was speaking to the guy, and he was like, I've, I've got no idea what you're saying at all. I was like, I repeated the question like three or four times, like, what did you eat for lunch? And he was like, listen, I really don't understand what you're saying. I've got no idea, you know, what language are you speaking? And I was like, right. So what did you have for lunch? And he was like, mate, I'm really sorry, I just don't understand you. When you're out on the street and you're filming all day and you're asking people questions, every now and again you'll get one guy or one girl that will just really piss you off. You know, you'd rather they just say, sorry I don't want to answer the question or no thank you or whatever. But when they just say something really fucking stupid and you just think I want to fucking punch you, obviously you can't, you know, you just walk away don't you? But like, ah, crazy. Now this bad boy. He's had it lowered, looks sick. We've got a uh, bit of a display going on here. Oh, he's still Mrs. Cat. This is the artwork that's on the street look. So this artwork is all examples of artwork that's actually out on the street. This one is on a building just as you're entering the town. You can guess what this says. Look how cool this wine rack looks. It's sick, isn't it? Huh. Check out this for a giant piece of cake. I've got 45 minutes till sunset and I really want to get some more interviews done. Что вы кушали с собой на обед? Ничего. Ничего? Ладно, хорошо. Вы любите сеники? Сеники. Вы любите сеники? Да, пожалуйста. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. So there we go. I just gave away the extras that I had from a video that I was filming like parallel with this one, which was a uh, uh, Russian breakfast. Извините, пожалуйста, можно вопрос? Пожалуйста. Что вы кушали сегодня на обед? Я не хочу отвечать. А, ладно, хорошо, хорошо. So that girl off camera had a nice little chat with me and told me what she had for lunch. A lot of people are very friendly in Russia. They want to chat. They want to, you know, communicate with you, but they're just shy to be on video like anywhere else in the world. What is quite interesting is I made another video asking Russians what their favorite foods are. And a lot of them said, you know, traditional Russian foods. But when I asked them what they have for lunch, it's nothing like the traditional foods and the answers they gave me to start with. Please, 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 please. Can you ask me a question? What do you do? Can you ask me a question? What do you eat today? What do you eat today? Torte. Ah, torte, yes. Well, what kind of one? A nice one that I made myself. Oh, good. Please, 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 please. Can you ask me a question? What? Can you ask me a question? Извините, пожалуйста, можно вопрос? Пожалуйста. Что вы кушали сегодня на обед? Я на диете вообще-то. А, значит, вообще ничего? Нет, почему салат? А, салат, да? Гречки. Ладно, о, вкусный, спасибо. И бокальчик вина, кстати. Молодец. Красный или белый? Белый. Днем белый. А вечером уже красный, да? Ну, или рюмка коньяку. Да. Они красные. Молодец. Хорошо, спасибо. Я вижу, что вы очень счастливы. Молодец. Спасибо. спасибо.